Hey, this is Kat Lifner, and today you are going to see me struggle. And the bird agrees. <laughs> Thanks for the commentary, Mr. Crow. Now, um, I actually contemplated not posting this video at all because I just made a lot of mistakes. But then I reconsidered because that just wouldn't have been an accurate reflection of the process. So I decided that I'm going to post it anyway. Um, some of the mistakes that I made was that I did not make the colors thin enough so I didn't use enough water when I mixed the paint and I also didn't put down enough paint so um, my idea of this painting was to make something botanical like leaves or something like that and so I um used a lot of different shades of green even the background is actually a, a slightly tinted green and um, I mean you can just see how thick my paint is <laughs> and I'm still going you know <laughs> so um, you're gonna see here in just a little bit I'm gonna blow this out can you even call it that I don't know um, you'll see here, the paint is not going to move. <laughs> realize here that there's it's just not it's just not working out so I'm like well I'm just gonna put down more paint and see if I could blow over whatever that was that I had down <laughs> I'm dripping paint everywhere Also decided that for this attempt <laughs> I was gonna use a little bit of a um, mixture of blue and green and black um, just to bring a little bit more uh, transition I guess from the green to the dark black colors down I try to blow this out and well would you look at that the paint is still too thick <laughs> so it's not moving very gracefully <laughs> but I just keep going
wasn't looking great. <laughs> so I um, put some of this background color in between the two different, I don't even know if I can call them leaves, but I'm gonna call them leaves. <laughs> and I pull the paint down here using a paintbrush to kind of uh, define some of the different uh, petals. Is it called petals? I don't know. But um, just make it look a little bit more like a leaf. stretched all the way to the end so um, I tried to kind of separate it by putting more background paint uh, towards the uh, the edge that I didn't like at all that it was flowing over the edge of the canvas so I'm putting down some paint on the edge of the canvas and um, just letting it flow over and that oh yeah <laughs> not just on the edge also in the middle of my painting <laughs> oh so many mistakes made <laughs> in the middle where I pour the paint there is so much paint um, so I try to um, blow some of it off the canvas um, because I just don't want it to be a giant puddle of paint in the middle <laughs> And here I'm using a straw to soften some of the edges of the petals and I'm gonna be um, tweaking this for quite some time <laughs> so I'm gonna speed up that process for you and I'll be right back After all that tweaking, 
I end up actually liking this painting. And that just goes to show you that even though it starts off a little rough sometimes, just um, playing around with it will pay off. And um, I'm going to show you the dried results here in a little bit. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I shall see you next time.